Lucas Media, so we got some news coming out of basketball, and that's Bronny James had a hell of a performance last night and the night before compared to his um, first two games. Now I'm seeing where he had, he had 13 points, five rebounds, three assists, and he shot five from 10, one from three three-pointers, and he hit both his free throws. Also, let me give a shout out to Imani Bates. I seen ba it came down to the wire. Bates took the last shot, but Bates also had 14 points, one rebound, four assists, one steal. And, you know, before I go into while Bronny, man, Bates, I think, will get more playing time. You know, he's National Player of the Year as a sophomore. Been knowing him really since, what, about seventh grade. So, he deserved to have his shine, too. But, but anyway, we know Bronny's the bigger, the biggest story right now in basketball. You know, he had two solid games, two back-to-back -back games. You can definitely tell that Bronny is more confident. You see him taking more shots. Um, he's using his gifts to his advantage from what I'm seeing. To me, Bronny is freakishly athletic. Yeah, he's six what six one six two, but he can use the gifts that he was born with to his advantage. And as far as like an athletic freak af ability, I always consider him like a baby LeBron. Honestly, even Derrick Rose. You remember when Derrick Rose first came to the league? I know some of y'all gonna gonna disagree, but when Derrick came, when Derrick Rose came to the league, he was like freakishly athletic. I think that Bronny could definitely use that, and you saw it the way he was cutting and and scoring, and you know he's doing the good, he's doing the things that he's good at. And I remember the day before yesterday, he was talking about you know it's been hard for him in a slump, and I understand how that can come from, especially when you're under the microscope, microscope. But this is what happens when you are the son of a legend and then, you know, your father goes out there and pretty much says he's better than some of the players now. People ain't let that go. Players and fans have not let that go. While there has been other players that's been struggling that were like an Alex R and many other picks who've been struggling with the summer league, Bronny's going to be held to a different standard. I mean, it takes time and I get it. You got to be patient, which is why I think Bronny will probably end up being in the G League a lot. And probably a lot of these players. Remember, I remember when Victor Wimbayama last year, his first game. It's it's a different adjustment, and you see it. This takes time, just like in the NFL or just like in any other boxing, just like with professional boxing. You got to sometimes you you go from amateur to prospect to contender to champion. You have to go through a certain process. And overall, people are going to give Bronny his props. Every more more people want to see Bronny win than to see him lose. It's just. When you go out there and you have a couple of bad games, of course it's going to look bad compared to other people because you got to remember who your father is. But when you win, you get all the praise, all the endorsements, all of that. But when you lose or play bad, of course that's just that's just how to, that's just how it goes, honestly. And Bronny said it don't really matter where you play, as long as you get a chance to keep playing ball. But I see the Lakers got another game tomorrow night against the, well tomorrow afternoon against the bulls definitely going to check that out because i got to see how my bulls gonna be looking as well but i mean you know you expect him just to keep building onto his confidence and again more people are rooting for Bronny than not rooting for him and the more he keeps playing the better he'll get but i just want to get my quick thoughts about it what y'all think about Bronny? y'all think he just hot for a couple of games or can y'all see himself still improving tell me what y'all think